please subscribe. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Wednesday, February 21st, and in today's video, I have one play for you. But before I go into the play, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the overall markets. The Dow fell 0.17% yesterday at 38,563, the Dow. The Nasdaq, it fell 0.92% to settle the day at 15,630, the NAS. Nvidia dropped 4% at $694.52 pennies. Earnings looms large. The whole world will be watching this earnings after the bell today in the AH. So prepare for a lot of gyration. The market is gonna be volatile for the rest of this week. Maybe it's a buying opportunity for you. Apple dropped point to 41% yesterday to settle at $181.56 pennies. Apple. The big winner was C Pop, C P O P Pop, 171% at $719. The higher day for C P O P, $9.40 on no news in particular. That's their 52 week high, 940. Volume yesterday, 71 million shares exchange hands. Compare and contrast to their average volume of 400K. This one is in China, CPOP. Dave's play today is a SP play, in and out, grab and go, one and move, do not overstay, you're welcome. EFOI is up 140%, 310, wait for a pullback on this one. No news out, we just ride in price action. The higher day thus far in the pre, 470. If this one retracts below 265, this might be a no-go today. This one has spike ability. For example, November 22nd, stock went from $1.30 all the way to $1.85. This one is in the furnishings space, headquarters out of Ohio. Let's get the tires. What's the tires on this? Brother, you didn't kick them. Oh, I'd rather I check them out before I'm going to think about purchasing. They were a market cap of 6 million. They have a low float of 2 million, 2 million in the float. 28% of the float are held by insiders. 3% of the float are held by institutions and shorts as 0.25% of the float, shorts. They have 4 million in revenues. This is FOI. Their revenue per share, <laughs> 1.60. They have a total cash of $2.5 million. Total debt of $2 million. Their current ratio is sitting above par. Their current ratio is sitting precisely at 1.80 EFOI. He's put on stock today. H O L O. The stock plunged 75% yesterday. Watch for a BP, a bounce play on this one. H O L O. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on X at WT for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always say they stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Always take care of your downside. Let the upside take care of itself. Trade well, and I'll see you when I see you. Boom, bam. Do remember, if you wish to open a trading account, Check out my Weibo link below. You will get some free stocks. Minimum deposit required is just one penny. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Weibo. Weibo only the way to go. Pre-market hours trading is very risky. It's not for the risk averse. I right, thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out. AMD. AMD is up 98% for the year. And they're sitting at 76 bucks. 76 bucks. I remember when AMD was about 10 bucks not too long ago, maybe three, four years ago. Nice.
AMD up 98% for the year. Number one, drum roll please. NVIDIA, NVIDIA is up 127% year to date and they're sitting at 486 bucks. NVIDIA doing great things, all right? Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please hit that notification so you'll get the upload as soon as it uh, uploads. You'll get the video as soon as it uploads because these videos are time sensitive, all right? Timing is everything. Let's delve right into three stocks you wanna put on your stock list coming up this week. Our 21st. I'm betting it's gonna hit 30. All right? I don't wanna see Dow 20 at all. The NASDAQ closed down an epic 4.11% today at 10,848. All right? Tesla. Tesla is down again, big time. Down 21%. 21% and in the after hours, it's down another 3%. Tesla and Apple, post split, down, down, down. The billionaires are cashing out on top of the poor backs. All right, you gotta be aware of your surroundings. Don't let them trick you. All right, let's delve into Dave's play. Albo. Albo closed up 45% at 